Hi, this video of the RF head transplant restoration surgery on applying with uh, thinning from the front all the way toward the back. <coughs> it's around class 4 or 5 hair loss pattern. Now with this advanced hair loss pattern, you can do either FUE or the strip method as well. With the FUE, you're going to need multiple sessions. Uh, you're gonna, we can do like 2500 to 3000 grafts the front half, and then the back half we can do another 2500 to 3000 in the future. For the strip method, I can do around five, six thousand on one day. However, the strip or the FUT leave you a linear scar running from one ear to another ear, permanent for the rest of your life. So, the FUE is the best option. And reproducing the hairline is the most important um, to give you the most natural uh, look. Having you know the old day, having hair should be the patient should be happy. But that's how the thinking is going. But nowadays, having hair is not good enough. I want to be able to have a hair that's natural for uh, my face. And that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to create the most natural hairline. And then the most natural hairline um, is, is an art form. It requires a lot of the artistic and aesthetic detail to ensure very natural result. From the mid-eyebrow to the hairline for Asian and black around six and a half to seven centimeter. For Caucasians, vary around seven and a half to eight and a half centimeter, and for this client, it's actually around seven uh, and a half. And then the more narrow the face, the more arch back the hairline is. The more round the face, the more flat the hairline is. And then we we, we base on the anatomical uh, landmark on the face, uh, and when you uh, frown your foreheads, the highest crease, and barely above that is where the hairline should lie. And as long as overall proportional to your overall face, from the mid eyebrow to the hairline is a third, from the mid glabella to the tip of the nose is a third, tip of the nose and bottom chin is a third. And then, <clears throat> once you get the shape down, we zigzag. Now, the zigzag, there's two different types. There's a soft hairline and then there's tight hairline. The soft hairline, we got a bigger zigzag. And then, so it looks softer and it looks very natural, but unfortunately, we, we use a lot of single hair graft in, with a big zigzag, so it looks a little bit, the hairline looks a little bit more sparse versus the tight hairline with a smaller zigzag. And a smaller zigzag, it, it gives you more of a wow factor, it gives you a very sharp um, hairline look. Um, but you know, again, the soft hairline look a little bit more natural. But then both of them look natural. It doesn't matter which one. So if you don't want to draw attention to your your hair, hairline, some people like it more of the soft hairline. But then the drawback is a little bit. Um, uh, the density is not as dense appearance. But the overall density behind it is all going to be the same. Uh, so so it's really all personal. But you're going to have excellent result in terms of density and volume overall. So uh, the uh, the softness and the tight hairline is is all individualized, and it's all dependent on what you uh, prefer, or you can go somewhere in between. And then not only once we get the decision of the hairline down, we try and plan a very precise angle, 35, 45 in the front, increases when you go backward, and changes when we go different direction. So then that's the other important factor, and then the. Uh, uh, selection of hair graft is important. We try and plant rows and rows single hair graft in the front, followed by root to grow two hair, three hair, and four hair in the back for bulk and volume. So this is the RF head transplant restoration surgery on a Caucasian man with a class four or five hair loss pattern, and they're probably going to need another procedure to work toward the back. But once you get uh, your hairline lower and a full set of hair, it really frames the face and bring it back your youth and bring back your look, enhance your eyes your nose and all the features that God created. But once you lose your hairline, your forehead is bigger, it really throw off the look. And then, and, and, and so, with, with a lower hairline, people focus more on the eyes and the other features than just the forehead. And I'm very excited for this gentleman because in the year, in the year time, he will look quite a bit different. Thank you. Oh, for more information, you can go to my website at www.mhtaclinic.com or call 1-866-999-6482 or 408-356-8600.